Oh my god, shit. Uh. But still, make noise and talk to me and touch and shit. Because if not, I ain't gonna be really into it. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm gonna make you do it. Or I'm gonna try my best to make you do it. But you know what I'm saying? Don't try to purposely not do it. You know what I'm saying? Cause that shit is a turn off when it ain't no kind of communication, touching or moaning. That shit is whack. Another thing, fellas, be gently forceful. Make sure she knows that you in control, but that you can also be trusted. You know what I'm saying? Because if you just like, yeah, motherfucker, and you know what I'm saying, you being too controlled, she's going to be like, hold on, simmer down, motherfucker. That shit, no, nigga. Because it's like rape, motherfucker. You don't want to be too forceful. The thing, though, like, you know what I'm saying, have swag, have bedroom swag, you know what I'm saying? Don't make her do everything. Take your clothes off, baby. I like you. No, baby. Take her clothes off for her. You know what I'm saying? Do it slow, but do it like, you know what I'm saying? Like, make it like that's your body. Her body is your body, and you doing what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But don't be too forceful. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't get to like the edge of the bed or something. And, like, spread her legs for her and shit. You know, shit like that. But don't be like too motherfucking. Lay your ass down. Motherfucker, I'm about to eat your pussy right now, and you don't like it. No, that shit ain't gonna work, dog. Just gently forceful. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is fingering. I told you about the nail thing, clean nails and have soft hands and stuff. But if you just going in this bit, this is a cooch, this is a finger. You, if you just doing shit like that, just getting it in and shit, that shit ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? It's a place, a magical, fantastic place called the G Spot. Some girls don't even know that they even got one. They hear about it, but they don't know where it is. I'm about to tell men and women where the G-Spot is. It's right behind the clip. Not like... It's on the inside of the vagina, right behind the clip. That's where it is. So, say this is the vagina, and this is the clip right here. When you go right here, it's like right there. So, the way that you find the G-Spot or whatever is you put your finger in. Like, if she was laying down on her back and you was facing her, you put your finger in, palm up, palm up, and you put your finger in and you do the come here sign with your finger. Uh, what that does, what you're going to feel is like a little spongy material. It's going to feel like this. So if you got like a credit card or some card with numbers on it, if you do like this, that's how it kind of feels. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a spongy, kind of ridgy material. And like, you know what I'm saying, you want to go in circles and you want to you wanna use varying pressures on that. Don't be too gentle, but don't be too hard neither, you know what I'm saying. Put pressure on it. And do a white finger in it. Just go across it a couple times and move it around. She'll be like, oh my God, I have never felt nothing like this in my life. Oh my God, I'm about to squirt all in your eye. And it feels great. So I'm told, because I ain't got no G-spot, I don't know. But it's the shit. I done made a couple girls squirt. And squirting is, man, when you make a girl squirt, that's when you finally know when you're mad. But it's the difference between making girls squirt with head and with dick. Dick take more work. And it's a whole lot more work because it feels good on you as well as her. So, I ain't about to go into detail on that. Another thing, be gentle until she says otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Don't Don't just go in there just getting it in. Because if you do that, you know what I'm saying, you don't know how much pressure she could take because this is a new chick, maybe. And if she don't tell you otherwise, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, do it harder, daddy, then if she ain't, don't do it. She, if you too forceful, it's going to take the whole mood down. She ain't going to do shit with you no more. And you don't want that to happen. Uh, another thing is, when you're warming up or whatever, don't just go straight into eating pussy, you know what I'm saying? Eat around it, you know what I'm saying? Tease. Tease, don't like, if, while you're massaging her, don't massage her pussy or her breast. You know what I'm saying? Just get spots that are erogenous zones. Look that shit up. You get spots that are erogenous zones, that arouse her or whatever, but don't touch like her, don't touch nothing that you know is going to get her like super horny because you want to tease her. You want it to be like a build up before you really start getting that shit in. You know what I'm saying? So, especially like once you get down to the eating coochie part, eat around the coochie. Lick around the hole and stuff and lick around the clit. Don't get right on the clit yet. Lick around it. Slowly. And lick the clitoral hood, which is right above the clit. This is the clit. This is the clitoral hood. Lick that right there. 
and then lift the clitoral hood up, and then lift the clit. And then once you're there, and she say, oh, my little shit, uh, I'm about to come, don't move away from the fucking clit at all. Don't, 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 don't move away from the clit, because that shit is whack. And she ain't gonna come. She's gonna be like, ah, you motherfucker. Now we gotta start this shit all over. And dudes, with us, it's a whole lot different. We could stop and won't have to start over. I mean, we could be right the fuck back there after we keep on going and be busting all over the place. And women, they will lose that shit. Like, it'll be like, ah, motherfucker. Stay on the clip. Even if you can't breathe. If, like, her pelvis is all up on your nose, that shit has happened to me before, breathe out your mouth while you still like, ah. <gasps> <laughs> Motherfucker, you better get that shit in, nigga. Another thing is, if you don't know what you're doing, well, go in it like you know what you're doing. Be also be versatile with your shit. Be versatile, you know. Don't don't stay with the same speed. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. Switch that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't continue to go in circles. And if you really don't know what you're doing, do the ABCs. And for one, you can't do an A, B, C, V, E, F, G perfect with your tongue. So she ain't going to know what you're doing. And don't hum that shit neither while you're doing it. Because then it's going to be like, nigga, you got to hum your ABCs to to fucking know how to do your ABCs? And then she's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? And girl, you don't want no nigga that got to hum his ABCs to remember his ABCs. Because that's just a dumb nigga. So if you really don't know what you're doing, lick the ABCs. And your one, two, threes. If you think she's going to figure it out. Another thing is tongue fucking. Tongue fuck the woman because it's the shit. And most dudes don't be doing it, you know what I'm saying? Make your tongue as stiff as possible and put it in the coochie, the cooch hole. Do that shit. It feels good. So, another thing is motorboating. Which I ain't gonna get into advanced techniques on how to eat a pussy. That's the next video, which now I know what my next video is. It's gonna be advanced techniques on eating pussy. That's special effects. And all kinds of other props and shit. And all that. Uh, motorboat. Motorboat is just putting your lips together and blowing air through. And it's like. <laughs> that's what a motorboat is. So that's what you want to do. But. There's another thing. It's a reverse motorboat. What you, your whole goal is to make your cheeks touch each other. So. <laughs> but not like that. Which I can't do it because I ain't got no pussy in my mouth right now. So I can't really show you. But. What that's doing is when you motorboat. When it's something right here, it's harder than motorboat. Like, it make you stop. But if you're doing it like, what it is is the air is coming through here, and all the vibration is right here. So you're gonna be vibrating, and you can still, you know what I'm saying, get the air, and it won't stop at all. You know what I'm saying? Not like the motorboat. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is, if uh, you want your girl to be a whole lot more wet, use water. And plus, it feels better anyway. So. Get a towel or whatever, put it under her, get you a glass of water or a bottle of water, whatever you want to use. And uh, you pour it on there or you put it in your mouth and you eat the pussy. And it's, it's, it's you know what I'm saying, that a, that a, if, you, if you dehydrate and you ain't got enough time to drink water, you ain't even got to drink it. Just use the fucking water and it'll feel real good because it's just constantly wet and she'll be squirting and won't even know. She'll just be like, oh my god, this is the best shit ever. Uh shit, this is the best shit ever and you'll be the man because you use water. And water is fucking simple. Another thing. Use mints. Mints are the shit. Fucking Altoids. Altoids make a girl bust all over your face. In real life. But. Don't put it directly on her pussy. You know what I'm saying? Put it on your tongue a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then look around at this shit. Another thing is. If you put the Altoid in your mouth. You gotta leave it in there for a second. Because it got sharp edges. And you don't want no sharp edges to be on her cooch. So. Leave it in your mouth for about like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 seconds, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Just so all the edges will be gone. Another thing, if you decide that you want to get freaky and use whipped cream and shit like that, use non-dairy whipped topping. Non-dairy. Because if you use dairy or whatever, body fluids and heat don't mix with dairy. And you don't want no nasty cottage cheese spoiled milk smell coming from your motherfucking girl cooch. You don't want milk smelling cooch. Sorry. And if you decide that you want to use props and shit, make sure you wash her shit afterwards. Or she washes her shit afterwards. Get in the shower and wash that shit off afterwards. And also, that's a good way to warm up. Get in the shower with her. 
warm up and after. Shower before and shower after. So you won't be stinking and shit. Uh, this is pretty much the end of the video though. Because uh, I ain't about to get into too much detail. Like I said, that's going to be on the next video. But hey, you looking out for that one. That one is going to be the shit. I got a lot of shit that I want to tell. And y'all going to be surprised. Like this little nigga. Freaky in the motherfucking. This motherfucking nigga. But yeah. This video is like over in real life. So. Extra things coming up later. Uh shit. Hey. That's my. My. Pussy eating video. So. Deuces.